There are a lot of space combat action games where, for no particular reason, you're the one person in the universe that can obliterate a dozen comparably equipped enemies in a matter of seconds. In Chorus, however, there's finally a good reason for you to be the one-stop shop for getting intimate with the cold vacuum of space. Two reasons, actually. The first is that you have a ship shaped like a really angry pterodactyl named Forsaken, which you always call Forza for no apparent reason. It can equip three types of appropriately deadly weapons and has an AI that constantly talks to you about what's going on in a mildly familiar Optimus Prime style voice. The second and probably most important reason is that you have fun psychic powers that can do things like detect all the important stuff around you, teleport you right behind enemies to give them an unscheduled colonoscopy, and blast giant energy waves that rip the shield right off your enemies and send them spinning wildly into oblivion. Oh, and you also use this psychic power to destroy an entire planet, so you got that going on too. You'll take on the role of Nara, who, after her planetary genocide, decides she should probably leave the cult that directed her little telekinetic faux pas and moves to the outskirts of space. Here, she swears off her cultiness and locks her ship up in a secret asteroid parking garage so she can blend in with the locals. Luckily, she keeps her ultimate power of finding things and becomes a scavenger for a few years, at least until everything changed when the Chorus Nation attacked. Now you get to head back to pick up your ship, who's pretty pissed at you for leaving them there the whole time, and continue on into various Minecraft-style blocky red temples of your abandoned religious cult to slowly regain your capabilities. In this journey to relearn your planet pulverizing powers and commit mass cult aside, you'll explore an open universe of people who all want you to help them do only the finest mundane task to take up your precious time. Whether it's picking up random materials, tracking lost ships, siphoning over some space fuel, handing out directions, or just killing whatever people want dead, you'll find plenty of side quests to keep you busy and fill your wallet with hot, stinky cash. Cash you can use to stack your ship with the hottest new gear like increased shields and armor, little buffing boxes that increase various stats, and new, sexier versions of your trio of ship-killing guns. The Gatling laser and missile weapons that you collect give you that classic rock-paper-scissors adventure and blasting health bars with maximum efficiency. Missiles pummel heavily armored foes into submission while lasers strip shields faster than jello shots strip inhibitions. Then you can use Gatling guns to finish the job with a beautiful flurry of hot lead and subsequent fireball of victory. When you're not engaging in a freestyle choreography of ship-on-ship -ship destruction, you'll be locked into intimate conversations across the vacuum of space where all of the emotion and nuance of these characters is attached to the smallest, fuzziest still image ever created. You may also come across some weird rips in space that you can use your psychic powers to investigate and relive past events with even fuzzier images conveying the disembodied voices of extraneous narrative. Throughout the game, you'll encounter so many indeterminate fuzzy images of faces, including the primary antagonist, you'll be playing a round of Guess Who with every conversation. Chorus, high-intensity space combat action with all of the ASMR inner monologue you've always wondered if you could tolerate. Despite the protagonist's weird whisper talking to herself and the repetitious mid-combat chatter where you and your ship finish each other's sentences like creepy twins, Chorus has a lot going for it. Aside from the name, which despite being a prominent part of the story, doesn't really tell you anything about the game. The story does ultimately become a little more cohesive in the end with the addition of some solid cutscenes, but all of that pales in comparison to the joy of the combat. The manic switching of weapons and chaotic outcome of abilities like drifting and teleporting behind enemies makes it totally engrossing. I actually got lost in the infinitely spawning random side quests just to get more chances to fight and experience the joy of feeling like a space ninja badass. Those moments also included the missions where I was able to pick apart destroyers and capital ships piece by piece and blast their internals for Star Warsian explosion escapes. That's why I'm giving Chorus the abbreviated score of… good. If you'd like more hot takes, warm satire, and tepid commentary about video games, make sure to subscribe and check out my other abbreviated reviews.